Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute and simple sewing wallet. Now make sure you get the free pattern on our website printed out and have all your pieces cut out according to the fabric. I have the inside fabric, the outside fabric, and then we have the accent fabric pieces. So starting in step one in the pattern, we're going to take our soft and stable that has been cut to the appropriate size. We're going to layer the outside fabric right on top. They should be, like I said, the same size. And what we want to do is just quickly baste them together. I just stitch with an eighth inch seam or so just around the outside edge, securing it in place so we don't have to worry about pins or anything. Now if you want to add a little bit of extra quilting on here, you can do that now, just like this. We don't need any backing fabric for that. So that would be the first step. And then now we're going to work on the zipper part. So we're going to take our accent fabric pieces. We have one that is three and a half inch wide. And that one we're just going to press in half right sides together. The second one is two and a half inches by eight. That one we're going to press in half like this and then bring the raw edges to, to the uh, crease in the middle. And then we're going to press both edges in like this and then in half again like so. So these two pieces, we're going to start working with the zipper. But we're also going to be working with the vinyl piece. So our vinyl piece should be already cut out to the right size. And leaving these guys aside here, we're going to sew the vinyl piece to the zipper first. Now your zipper should be oversized and we can just leave it, the zipper pull right at the end right now. And so now we're going to lay the zipper right side down, just like it's shown in the pattern. And then I want to lay my vinyl piece and you can leave the paper backing on if you are worried about your, your foot not um, moving on the vinyl. And then we're going to layer this vinyl piece so that there's a little bit of a gap at least an eighth of an inch from the edge of the zipper tape to the vinyl. So I'm just going to clip this like that. And take this to my sewing machine. Now I'm going to, you can see I'm clipping it the wrong way because I'm going to flip this upside down so it lays flatter. And we're, I'm going to use my zipper foot to stitch as close to the zipper tape as, uh, as close to the zipper as I can and still have that little gap um, on the other side. You can see that when I flip this over that you should see that black all the way across. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that. You want to make sure that you have thread that is going to blend in nicely with the zipper. So I just have a dark gray. And so now I have my zipper foot positioned so that the needle is on the left side so that I can get really close to the actual zipper. Put this down and now I'm ready to stitch across. So now I have this um, sewn and just to double check that you did it correctly, your zipper should be right side up here and um, your seam right across. And now we're going to remove that paper backing so you can just fold it along the seam and then it should just easily tear off. like that. And now we're just going to fold this vinyl, finger press it down, and I'm flipping it to the right side. And so that 
zipper tape is going to come over the top and cover up that raw edge. So it's going to get that raw edge of the vinyl is going to get caught inside that zipper tape. So now I'm going to go back. You want to just finger press this. I'm going to go back and stitch, top stitch right at the edge of the zipper tape, enclosing that inside here. And if you uh, want to, I like to just sometimes use my paper if your foot is having trouble going across the vinyl. You can use it on both sides to help that vinyl go across. So now, as you can see, I top stitch right on the edge, so there's a little bump here, but it, all of our raw edges are nicely enclosed inside here. So now we're going to add our pressed piece. I kind of skipped over into three when I talked about how this was being pressed. So we're going to slip the other end of the vinyl right inside this, and we're going to stitch just along the top edge, top stitch along the top edge here across, and then we're going to take our folded piece in half and we're going to bring our zipper other side inside here, fold this down and stitch right across here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, I'm going to clip this in place, and again I'm going to use my zipper foot with the needle on the left side for that side. So this is secured here and now we're going to bring these fabrics, press them this way and fold this up. And finally, we're going to top stitch on this side about an eighth of an inch from the top. I'm also going to go and stitch right across this side here, uh, about, an, about an eighth of an inch inside, right across my zipper, so that I can trim my zipper even here. And I'm going to do the same on this side, but remember to bring the, the zipper pull inside first and then we're going to stitch across to secure it and trim the zipper. So I actually have another piece that I already did this with here. So as you can see, my zipper is brought inside. I stitched across the edges here so my zipper is secure even though it is half open. So now that we have this one ready, this part ready to go, we're going to work on our mesh pocket. So we have our inside fabric piece. The first thing that I'm going to do is draw a line right through the center. So just using a water erasable pen, I'm just going to use my ruler here and use my five inch slit. Then I know that this is at six inches and I'm just going to draw a line here across just to mark the space and we're going to be sewing the mesh pocket right here at the bottom but before we attach it to here um, when you cut it you'll see that the the stretch is always more one way than the other so we want the stretch to be on the horizontal so when you cut it it should be eight by five this way now we're going to take our fold over elastic. You'll see that there's a crease here in the middle, so we'll easily fold over. But the first thing I want to do is just trim that to 8 inches before I attach it to my mesh. So I'm just going to take my ruler here, make a cut through the 0 and the 8. And we should have our piece. There. So now what I'm going to do is take my 
mesh and elastic and just going to fold it over here on each end and clip it. And on the other end. Now in this case, we're not going to have any give in our mesh pocket. Sometimes if you want um, more bulk to put thicker items in, you would cut your mesh bigger. But in this case, we just want it the same pretty flat so our wallet will fold up nicely. So then I'm just going to fold up the middle here, add a couple more clips, and then just go ahead and top stitch right along the bottom, catching both sides of my fold over elastic. Now I have that stitched down and I'm just going to place it on our inside piece here along the bottom edges and just going to clip this in place to hold it for now. We are going to make one seam just down the middle because we're going to create two pockets in our mesh. And so I want to just take my, take a ruler and mark that center, which is of course four inches in. And I just use a water erasable pen. So you want to start stitching above the fold over elastic and then stitch all the way through the mesh. And so you're going to have a piece that looks something like this where I made sure to back stitch right across the fold over elastic and then just straight through, straight down. So now we can clip our sides, make sure everything stays in place. And it's time to move on to the next step. So now I'm going to bring our vinyl piece and just align it here. What we want is that bottom piece of the vinyl should be fairly matched up with the line that we drew. Now if it is bigger, you can always trim the top part. So what I like to do is just clip this in place and then check my back the back of it and if it's a little larger you can just trim that that fabric off but this looks good to me so now we're also going to take our soft and stable piece and if you want to which is going to make things a lot easier I'm going to round the corner so what you want to do is take anything you have a glass or anything that's about I have this piece which is about three inches in diameter so I'm just going to lay that on the corners we don't want too much roundness because we don't want it to affect anything on the inside so I'm just laying the round edges on the edges here and then drawing my rounded corners so once you have that we are going to lay this right on top, right sides together. And now we're going to clip all of our layers together. And sew around the whole piece. Now we want to leave an opening so that we can turn our whole wallet and I like to leave it open at the top. So I like to leave about a four inch opening or so. So I'm just gonna mark it here. So I'm just gonna sew with a quarter inch seam around following the rounded edges. As you come to the rounded edge, you can kind of go closer to the lines. And then I'll meet you back once I have that sewn all the way around. I'm just going to 
clip my rounded corners so that they'll be easier to push out and just trim this fabric just a little bit. And now we're gonna turn our piece. Push your rounded corners out. And then I'm gonna take this to my iron and fold these pieces right along the opening so that they are folded nicely inside and clip them together. I'm also going to flip it to the back and give the whole thing a good press this way. As you notice, this seam is still open here on the bottom and we're going to stitch this uh, last. But now we want to top stitch around the whole edge. But first, we want to prepare a little tab that's going to have a snap on it to keep our wallet closed. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. That is with our outside fabric that we cut at four inches. I'm going to do the same thing as we did before, fold the raw edges to the center, and then on one side I'm just going to fold a quarter inch over, fold the whole thing in half, and then top stitch around the three closed edges, and then trim your tab to about five inches. So I have one sewn right here, just top stitch around the three edges, and then this one is the raw. So we're going to slip this inside the center here. I'm just going to make sure that it is going to be centered. So I'm just going to lay a ruler alongside my top edge here. It should be about seven and a quarter or so. So that means it should be right around the three and five eighth inch line where that tab should go in. So I'm going to stick my the raw edges inside right on the center. And I'm actually just going to add a pin so that it stays in place as long as I want it to stay. Because it's hard to clip edges this way. So then I'm going to clip the closed edges, the openings on the each side. Because we're going to top stitch around the whole edge of our wallet. So I'm going to bring my zipper into the middle. So just an eighth of an inch or so along the whole edge. And then we are going to go ahead and, and top stitch along the bottom of our uh, edge of the vinyl piece. And that's going to go through all the layers. That's going to create our little fold in our wallet so our wallet folds nicely in half like so. Now I have sewn all the way around and across the bottom so our wallet will fold nicely like this. And of course the tab is supposed to hold our snap. So first off we want to find a way, find a place where we want to put that snap. We want to leave a little overhang here so we can grab and unsnap it. So we are going to Mine is going to be right about here. And so I'm going to go right through here and mark it on this side as well. Because that is going to be where we're going to put the other snap. So if you have a stiletto or something sharp, we want to punch that through this side and it should come up right here on the seam in the middle. So I'm going to go right through here 
and I'm right in the middle there. Make a hole. Now find our snaps, and I'm using the same snaps we did in another project. So what we want is a top, and this is going to be with the top, and then a bottom piece that has a stud going the other way, there. So these four pieces, um, on this side, we want the snap to, of course, snap on this side. So um, this piece goes here, and this goes on the inside. But sometimes we have to make a little bit bigger hole. So I'm going to just go in with my scissors, create a little bit bigger hole so that we can push the stud here through. And that was not quite big enough. Sometimes we have to just cut a little bit out, especially if we have batting, and in this case, the soft and stable foam. Let's try this again. And once you have that stud through all the fabrics, we can lay our other piece, our actual width, where the snap is going to snap on top. And then just hammer this through. That looks good. And so now, of course, on the other side, Punch right through. And you can have a little bit of a give, because if you put stuff in here, you want it to be able to have a little give. So on this side, we of course want the snap on the outside. Let me make a little bigger hole. And so now we have our snap, and there's our little wallet. Perfect to put whatever you wanted here, little spools of thread, maybe English paper piecing. I would love to put some of my trimmers in here, point trimmers, clips, any kind of sewing things you need on the go. And you can snap it together and grab it with you. I hope you enjoyed making the sewing wallet. What a simple and quick project. I know there's a lot of pieces, but this is a fun gift to have and a great piece of organizer to include in your own sewing materials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.